Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. I want to talk about a core fundamental concept in medicine and science, which is sadly becoming more rare and obsolete. This concept, this way of thinking scientifically, has underlied medical and scientific progress throughout human history. What is it? The simple art of observation and looking at the outliers, because it is the outliers that will often give you some of the biggest answers you seek in medicine and science. Let me give you some examples. If we're talking about a disease or an illness, but this could apply to any scientific phenomenon, look at the groups of people who are being affected. Who are the populations who are being affected by a particular disease or illness? Who are the people who are not being affected? Who are the healthy people? What are they doing right? And conversely, what are the other people doing wrong? Or what could they be doing wrong? This again may sound very simple indeed, but I can tell you that this way of thinking is fast going out of the window. It's becoming more and more obsolete for a number of reasons, including the fact that politics now overlaps with medicine. This has started sadly in the United States, but now medicine is hyper-politicized and certain things are deemed politically incorrect, even though they are completely correct scientific observations. This is to the detriment of the progress of medicine and science, and it is terrible that we are in this situation, because it has, of course, underlied all scientific progress, this way of thinking, and looking at the outliers. Let me give you one of the best known examples from the history of medicine and science, and it is from London in the 1920s. The Scottish physician and microbiologist Sir Alexander Fleming was in his lab and he was experimenting with bacteria, with staphylococcal bacteria, and he was growing them on different culture plates, and he noticed that one was not growing any bacteria around a certain fungus which was on the plate. And he looked at it and thought, that's funny, there's this area that is clear of bacteria around the fungus, what is going on? He investigated it and that led to the discovery of penicillin, which is widely rated as one of the greatest medical discoveries of all time. Over the next few years, millions of lives were saved, and over the next few decades, hundreds of millions of lives were saved. Think about it, a simple infection previously would kill you, but now you had this great new antibiotic. Actually, a couple of years ago, when I was walking in London, I stumbled across the plaque that was dedicated to Sir Alexander Fleming, and it was a pleasure and a great honour to see that, because Sir Alexander Fleming's discovery was truly a game-changer. But coming back to the main point of this, looking at the outliers, we are in an insane situation now where this basic, fundamental, core scientific way of thinking that has underlied all of our progress is now frequently deemed not correct, not politically correct, as politics has crept into medicine, and everything now is hyper-politicized. This is a really bad situation to be in, and we must reverse it. We must be able to look at situations, at populations and people, and say, oh, those people are not affected, those people are healthy, what's different about them? And what's different about those people who are suffering? And we must be able to state these observations out loud. Simple scientific and medical observation. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for listening, Dr. Sunil Dand. Do hit the subscribe button for more similar videos on my Real Medicine and Health Science channel. You can also follow me on my news channel. The link is down below. We will speak again very soon.